Today's video, I'm going to show you the best A-gap blitz in Madden 24, and this is going to come to us out of the dime normal formation in the multiple defensive playbook. If you guys want to get my entire multiple defensive ebook, we go over $3, $3, and we're adding this dime normal into it. You can get access to all of that stuff by becoming a Patreon member. The link to sign up for the Patreon is going to be down in the description below, and I think it's the best way and really the fastest way uh, to help you become a better Madden player. So if you want to sign up for that, again, the link's going to be down in the description. Now, how do we run the dime? normal a gap blitz what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually coming out in the dime normal flipped so in our coaching adjustments we're going to turn auto flip defensive play call we are actually going to turn that off and then we're going to flip the play db blitz zero at the play call screen and you're going to see that when we pinch our defense the defense is going to look just like this now in order to set this blitz up it's actually relatively simple we could run the blitz just like this right here and what you'll see when we run the blitz like this is we can get double edge pressure i think this is one of the best double edge blitzes in the game and I think if you can adjust out of this defense, it is probably the last great six-man pressure that we've seen in Madden for years, okay? However, what we're going to do is we're actually going to set this up so that it can defend Bunch really, really well and so that it can actually get an A-gap. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to put the solo wide receiver side cornerback on an outside third. We are then going to um, hard flat or purple the blitzing slot corner on the right side of the screen. And then we're going to crash our line to the right and we're going to stand about right here. And what you're going to see is this is going to have potential to get an A gap blitz. If, it do, if the A gap doesn't come in, then you're going to get this uh, you're going to get this blitz through uh, the edge, okay? So a lot of times this A-gap will come in, you know, right up the middle. If it doesn't for whatever reason, then you should get it off the edge. Now, um, you could also do it like this right here. Uh, actually, let me show you this real quick. So I'll show you a different version of the same basic concept. Essentially, this is like a 3-3-5 cub uh, is kind of how we're going to practically use the defense. And so the way that you can also kind of do this is go ahead and just uh, – shift your defensive line to the left you're going to stand about right here same as that kind of hover and then as you can see if it doesn't come up the a gap then it's going to come off of the edge so those are two different ways that you can kind of um you know set yourself up to get the pressure the one thing if, if you take a look here another thing that you can do is go ahead and contain this will kind of open up the gaps a little bit more See how we get that disengage right up the A-gap? And then he's uh, in the process of breaking the tackle, obviously, to get the pressure. So that is pretty much uh, how I like to run this defense. Another simple way would be, like I said, you know, do something like this right here um, where you shift them left. And then as you see there, that time the A-gap wanted to come in, it just couldn't. The better acceleration that you have in that position, I find the better. This is a little inconsistent, in my opinion, in practice mode. It's a little bit more consistent in game. Um, so that's something else you got to kind of think about. Again, notice that we're consistently getting the edge pressure, though, even if we don't get the, um, you know, the dime normal uh, the, the true, uh, the tried and true dime normal a gap. Okay. So just kind of keep that in mind, but yeah, this is a, a fun little defense. I think it's actually a really good disengage a gap, but there, that time we actually got the disengage up the middle. Some of this does, um, like your hover does certainly impact this. So kind of keep that in mind. Like if I get back up in here, this is kind of a little bit more of what we used to do at a three, three cub. You see, we get the disengage up the middle. I'm not going to hover as much in the game post patch. What I found in, in the post patch is, you know, just the way the hovering works in this game, it's really honestly going to make your blitz worse a lot of times. So if you kind of stand back here and just kind of let the disengage come in there, you see, we get the a gap and the edge pressure. The beauty of this five man blitz is it's also going to allow you to create some really cool coverage against bunch. You can do things like the scissor adjustment over there on the left hand side you can do uh, press man-to-man -man coverage and kind of hover uh, in this area right here and then essentially we know the left side is going to be taken away so what are we going to do we're going to go over here to the right and by the time they're making a quick read we're going to have them sacked I think dime normal affords us a lot of different opportunities from a pressure perspective, especially with the way that this blitz works right now. And then the other cool part about this defense is this is only sitting five people. So even if we wanted to, another little underrated piece of it is you actually probably could go ahead and take your defensive lineman on that side and put him in coverage. So we'll just kind of mess around with just a basic uh, curl flat zone. And you see that actually kind of 
kind of wanted to shed up the middle. Not as good as it is when you send five, of course, but you know, just something to think about. Uh, but this is a very, very simple setup. Just pinch the defense, um, you know, crash right, and then zone the corner on the right. And then you just want to stand kind of back in here. And you're pretty much going to guarantee yourself you're going to get at least some edge pressure. And sometimes you will ultimately get that a gap, uh, that a gap blitz to come in. So really like this defense a lot. I think it's got uh, just a lot of uh, things that it can do for you. It really pushes the pocket well, kind of forces your opponent to have to get the ball out quick and make a quick decision. The other cool part about this is, let's say they do block a running back, well, then we can just send this other slot corner, and now we've got a six-man pressure that's going to guarantee that we're going to get somebody in free. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get my entire multiple defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. You can do that by heading down to the description and uh, clicking the link down below.